In the imaging process, it is very important to properly prepare your specimens. In this video, I will go through how to set up a dry mounted specimen for a dorsal, lateral, head, and ventral shots, as well as how to properly remove labels from a specimen. I will be going over the first step in preparing a dry mounted specimen for imaging. The first step that you need to do is to always remove the labels from the specimen. So you take your tool, you squeeze above the labels and push down. Now you have removed your labels. The thing to remember is to always put your labels in the specimen's unit tray. This keeps everything together and prevents mixing up labels and specimens. I will go over how to prepare a dry mounted specimen for a dorsal shot. The first thing you need is a slide with a glob of wax on it and a gray piece of paper. You place the paper on top of the wax. Next, you take your specimen and you stick the pin into the wax. Next, you need to line up the specimen so that everything is level. So you look at its face and that's pretty level. Next you look at its side and you line it up. And then you check the face again and it was moved. Thing to remember is you want to go by how the specimen looks and not by how the pin looks. So now our specimen is ready for a dorsal shot to be taken. I will now go over the proper way to prepare a dry mounted specimen for both a lateral and a head shot. This stand is the type of stand used for both shots. So for the lateral, we take our specimen and we stick the pin into the stand so that it is slanted slightly up. This way the legs will be more in focus. So generally this is how your specimen will end up looking. For the head shot, you take the specimen and you stick the pin once again into the stand so that the head is facing up. Generally, this is how your specimen will end up looking. The next type of shot is the ventral shot. For this, the type of stand that we use is a glass slide with a glob of wax set up like so. Unlike other types of shots, which we use the pointy end of the pin to stick through the stands. For ventral shots on our specimen, we use the top part of the pin and we stick that into the glob of wax. We make sure our specimen is level and we are all ready and set up to go to take our ventral shot.